Hello guys, and welcome back to another F123 Renault career. Today, I will play the race of this weekend. Now let's go to the race. Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Perez, Russell, Oscar Piastri, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Albon, Stevens, Sonoda, Ocon, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Bottas, Ricardo, Joe, Sargent, and Clement Novelak. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Now let's start the formation lap. Okay, so everything looks good on the power unit. Fantastic no stop. Let's make sure we get the edge on the surrounding drivers as the lights go out. What an amazing start. I am three positions up. Okay, good work. Great pass. DRS is being enabled this lap. Why is there a yellow flag? Caution, caution. Oh my god, Perez is retiring and almost made me hit him. Be careful, dude. Okay, clear.
okay, time to do a good and laugh. Gap ahead is 1.5 seconds. to do a good pit stop. Okay, let's go now. That is a good pit stop. The and then Make this happens. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Plus one place. Plus one place. Okay, clear. HM, what happened to Alonso? Looks like it was a mechanical issue. That's Clement in the pits. Clement's in the pits now. Fastest sector one and two. 
can I set the fastest time? Yes, I can. Great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. Nothing changed in the race until... Takes me. Oh, come on, you can win that place back. After that, again, nothing happened until Norris does this to me. my right side of my wing and make contact so we both have wing okay, damage listen, don't worry about it mate it can happen to the best of us now look i've put a new strategy option for you in the mft so go and have a look of course no okay copy that
flag. Okay, safety wow, car deployed. a safety car. Safety Let's deployed. see what caused it. Delta. Let's box pit stop to fix the damage. Let's actually not box because it's just three laps. And the safety car has just started. Finally, I catch the cue. Safety car in this lap. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tires are up to temperature. And remember, there's no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. So, we have to more laps on this race. And then, this happened. I managed to get P2 and stay. Yes, mate, I'll take that. Well done. We're really happy with the podium down here. So well done. Yes. Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today, but what set them apart from the rest? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Let's see how the driver's standings have changed. Lewis Hamilton takes the lead of the Drivers' Championship. 
So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. Well, what an end well to this was today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it, us, and, and see we'll you see at the, you next, the next one. one.